has changed. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine. Liquid! Snake, did you like my sunglasses? Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Blue Blocks. That's right. The meltdown uh, has been an hol a hilarious thing to watch now that Elon Musk has indicated he will not only unban Donald Trump, but also, I would assume by his logic, just about everybody who's been permabanned ever on Twitter. And people have some thoughts about it, which is hilarious, including Hollywood voice actor and well-known voice of Snake from many video games that you may love as a child. Um, director uh, of X-Men, X2, Watchmen, uh, voice actor, all around beloved man bun, uh, has lost his Tesla to me. He owes me my Tesla. And David Hader, I want my Tesla. You said I could have it. I want it. Now. No, seriously, I want, I want it now. Of course... I don't believe David Hader will be offering me, will be delivering on what he said, but maybe he'll need to change his name. Maybe, maybe he'll have to uh, try Lord Hader. Check this out. Huge shout out to this video's sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in english they allow people to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so they can call themselves a lord or a lady officially in return they commit to plant a tree with every order and protect the beautiful pristine woodlands of scotland established titles makes an absolutely amazing gift and a person could officially get their name changed on documents their title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate and an official certificate with a crest. Established Titles is currently having a really big sale just for you, my subscribers. You can get an additional 10% off any purchase you make with the discount code THEQUARTERING. So click the link below, go to establishedtitles.com slash thequartering and use promo code THEQUARTERING to save an extra 10% today. And we're going to take a little look at some of the coverage. Elon Musk and Dogecoin co-founder ridicule reaction to Trump's return to Twitter. Donald Trump's potential return to Twitter won't be a big deal, according to the social media company's owner to be Elon, who ridiculed the reaction to the news in, interaction, in an interaction with co-founder cryptocurrency Dogecoin. Musk, whose $44 billion offer to buy Twitter was accepted by the company last month, recently said he would reverse the, quote, morally wrong permanent ban placed upon the former U.S. president. The multi-billionaire said in a Financial Times conference call on Tuesday that banning Trump from Twitter didn't end Trump's voice. It will amplify it among the right, which is why it was morally wrong and flat out stupid. Musk said that if he becomes the owner of Twitter, the permanent bans will be reversed only, reserved only for bot and spam accounts, and that temporary bans or tweet deletions could be the course of action for people who break the rule with harmful tweets. However, he expressed doubt that Trump would return to Twitter even if the former president's ban was reversed, stating he has publicly stated he will not be coming back to Twitter and that he will only be on Truth Social. Truth Social is Trump's own social media platform, which was created after Trump's Twitter ban on January 2021 as a result of what Twitter called a risk of further bad behavior. Musk commented further on Trump's hypothetical return to Twitter, 
on Tuesday night in a tweet thread with Billy Marcus, the software engineer and known as one of the creators of Dogecoin. If Donald Trump gets back on Twitter, this is all that's going to happen. One, he won't use it. Or two, he'll make a single tweet that's like, this site is bad, come to Truth Social or whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. Adults don't need to have yet another meltdown for F's sake, Marcus tweeted. Then Musk replied, exactly. Then you see GOP revels in the left's meltdown after the news that Elon Musk, uh, after news of Elon Musk deal to buy Twitter. The, this this goes all the way back, you know, the, their meltdown uh, has been insane. They, they, they're trying to stop them at every possible uh, s spot. I don't think it's about Donald Trump. I don't think it's about left versus right. It's about control. I mean, that's, that's essentially what this is and, and uh, what this will always be. You see Monica Crowley, four days ago, Obama called for full-blown censorship on social media. Today, Twitter will accept Elon Musk's offer. Free speech lives. Suck communists. Um, you see Carlos Sands. If Twitter accepts Elon's bid, it will be the greatest victory for free speech of the 21st century. That's probably true. Jim Jordan says Twitter's board is reportedly considering Elon's offer. How crazy will it be the left go if they accept this bid? Well, we now know. We now know. We've seen some of the hilarity around it. We have um, JD, I don't give a crap, who has almost 200,000 followers um, and calls himself a Democratic digital strategist. Dear Elon Musk, no one wants Trump on Twitter. Sincerely, all Americans. Well, obviously, that's not the case. I wouldn't say I'm triggered, but I'd say uh, speak for yourself there, young man. Um, and then we've got, of course, Rob Reiner and his a hilarious meltdown by reinstating Trump. Elon Musk is condoning lies and disinformation. He's clearly comfortable with someone inciting bad behavior to overthrow our government. Well, isn't that what um, that leprechaun did down in Chicago? Lori Lightfoot? Beetlejuice? Isn't that what she did? Let's be honest. Um, there's innumerable examples of where this type of behavior is completely co-signed and endorsed by Twitter uh, as long as it's pointed at the right, as long as it's pointed at conservatives. Um, there are innumerable examples over the past couple of days that have been covered at length. Lori Lightfoot is the latest example. I mean, what she said should be a bannable offense. Um, but, you know, you know, people go out and take to the streets and they show up at these Supreme Court judges' houses and... You know, they follow Lori Lightfoot on Twitter. Will there be an inquisition? Will there be an inquisition? Will there be demands for accountability from Lori Lightfoot? Will, will she receive bans from Twitter? No. Anyway, the march towards autocracy continues. Rob Reiner, of all people, he's essentially just a lunatic. Um, and of course, they're kind of pushing this narrative. Look, what those people did at uh, that small group of the overwhelmingly large group of the Capitol was wrong and stupid. Okay. That's what happens when you get all cooked up into a mob, um, you know, breaking in, um, you know, being unruly. Do I think that they were there did that? They actually thought they were going to overthrow anything. No. Do I think it was an insurrection? No. Um, I think it was a handful of idiots, 50 that, you know, got caught up in the moment and made mistakes. But, you know, what you don't see is the overwhelming majority of people outside that were there peacefully. It's the CNN effect, right? Um, you know, I, I suppose I'm supposed to believe that there was just millions of peaceful protesters during the summer of peace that we just never saw on the news. All I kept seeing was people burning down businesses. But I'm told that there were, you know, z zillions of peaceful protesters by CNN. They just didn't get any camera time. Then we get to probably one of my favorite thus far, David Hader. Shout out to David. Be nice to him. He doesn't know really. He doesn't really, you know, he's just a sweet summer child. Um, I, I don't know, really have anything against him personally. I just thought this was a funny take. And uh, I guess he had a little bit of a melty over it. And now he owes me his Tesla. Um Nothing could ever give me to give give up my Tesla except this. 
Elon Musk, hashtag never forget January 6th. Are you really using never forget? Like these lunatics literally, I mean, they did it on the news. They compared that day to like S September. They, 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 they're, they're comparing that day to the two towers or twin towers. Like how insane, like what I want to do with David Hader here is just sit down and ask him, are you really making a comparison to what happened in New York City to, to a handful of idiots that got out of control at the Capitol building? Are you really going to stand on 5,000 graves and another 20,000 that lost their lives afterwards fighting over it? Is that, is that the comparison you're making? Because I'm sure he's not a lunatic. I'm sure that he would say, nah, I'm not really. Uh, actually, no, I probably don't. Um, some of the replies, of course, here. Um, you got me. Can you let me know which model it is? I'm happy to purchase it from you. Um, a lot of people saying, uh, give it to me if you don't want it. So many people. I just, <laughs> I just do not get how even one Metal Gear Solid fan can immerse in decades of warnings from Kojima and Snake about political evils to come and then side with that evil while bashing Snake himself. Oh, video games are real life. I mean, and then, you know, I quote tweeted him um, because he just got very angry. Like, he got very angry at this. Um, I, I don't know if he thought he was going to slide in with that sweet ratio, but, you know, he got very angry and, um, you know, I'd quote tweet and I said, I'll be happy to take it off your hands, David. I'm sorry. Bad things like free speech keep happening to you, to which he responds, you misspelled sedition dip s. Why are these people so angry all the time? I didn't call him names. And like, I, I. Look, I believe, and I've said this many times before, that a lot of these people, they read that one article in BuzzFeed 10 years ago that said, you know, people who swear more are, are, are you know, have higher IQs. And so they all fake it. And they, they like, the way these people talk um, is just low IQ. I'm not saying David is, but I'm saying people that just curse every other word. Like, you don't sound smart. You don't sound edgy. You don't sound cool. You sound unhinged. Um, of course, this didn't work out well for him, as, as of course, the uh, epic the epic Murphy beard gets laid upon him. Um, I thought David was better than this. Um, There's Jack Murphy. He got cucked by Kojima and hasn't recovered since. Uh, never forget the riots in 2020 that you were okay with. Um, sure, sedition, but taking over large swaths of American cities, setting up borders around the area, placing armed guards on those borders, denying access to local residents and emergency services, and declaring yourself no longer American soil is a protest. Obviously, a reference to Chad or Chaz or whatever it was. I used to respect you. I wish you had learned from what Kojima was trying to say through his own games. I mean, um, <laughs> Musk already has your money. Your gesture is empty. Apparently, that means I'm not getting the Tesla, by the way. Um, David, you owe me that Tesla. And you know what? I'm sure you could probably use it. I'm not, I don't even want it for free. I will pay you for it. And I will definitely, I'll send a truck. I'll send a flatbed to go get it. I assume you're out in LA. Let's work it out um, today. Uh, I hope it's, a, it's an S because I already have a three. But, you know, if it's another three, that's great. Um, I'm fine with that too. So... Uh, just DM me, David. I'll give you a follow, and uh, I want my Tesla. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.